Hi. It's us. Hi, kids. Do you like violence? Um, it's the username classified and this other tool that I found in the street. Yeah, this guy rot her. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. Indeed. Uh, we're playing this game. It's called Banjo. It is. And Banjo has the most obvious erection ever. He does. I mean, but who wouldn't know such a thing in those tight shorty shorts? No, but it's sexy though. It is. That's how I like it. That is how I like it. Um... Yeah, so... For some strange reason... I think you should get in your recording mode if you're actually, um... Going to record. Yes. Otherwise... Yeah, we, we tried to record this, um... What, two or three times now? No, this is the second time. Oh. Well, okay. Yeah, for some reason you couldn't hear me, but yeah. This is, uh, my buddy's new LP. I think he's been wanting to do this one for a while, if I'm correct. For about... Well, actually, originally, this was my first Let's Play, but I cancelled it after the first part. Holy crap, when was this? Um, April 2009. Wow, it was your first Let's Play and you cancelled it? Yeah, first, only one part. I don't even think it went to YouTube. Also, did you know that I was going to do a Let's Play of uh, Mario RPG at one point? Yeah. You did? What? I was going to do a Mario RPG Let's Play at one point. Oh, no, I did not know this. When was this? Sometime uh, before Sunshine. Like the, oh, and why like did the you original not do Sunshine. <laughs> Shit, why did you not do it? I don't know, because it was a shitty camcorder to let's play an RPG game. Oh, it was a camcorder LP, I didn't know that. That was, that was before the original Sunshine. <laughs> oh, wow, holy crap. But anyways, this is... Um, uh, yeah, here Grunt we got Tilda. the intro sequence. Yeah, we have a uh, little Snow White reference here. Pretty much all the stereotypical movie witches are covered by Gruntilda. And also she rhymes every... Sentence. She'd make a great rapper. Yeah, her and uh, Doc and Dr. Seuss can do some freestyle rap battles. Yeah, <laughs> she, she should definitely be in an epic rap battle of history. But yeah, Gruntilda's an amazing rapper. You should go uh, subscribe to her right now on uh, Gruntilda the Witch. Yeah. Do you think? Um, uh, do you think? Uh, what kind of operating system do you think Grunty uses? Um, I'm gonna say, uh, an Apple II. And she plays RuneScape and trolls YouTube comments. All the comments are in, uh, rhyme formation as well. Yes, yes they is. I'm not gonna lie, uh, we've already made that entire conversation in the last, uh... Yes, that was entirely scripted. <laughs> Uh, you can do the voice acting if you want. Okay. <clears throat> Am I gonna do 2 No, you're not gonna do 2D. You're gonna do bottles and that's... Yes. Yeah, I'll do, uh, Kazooie. Yeah, you did a pretty good Kazooie in our last recording. Hey up, I wanna go on an adventure too. <laughs> what was that voice that, um... If you remember, uh, Chicken Let's Play this game, didn't they give, uh, Kazooie, like, a really gruff voice, like a smoker's voice? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I remember they gave somebody a, uh, uh, is that your brother? Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they gave somebody a, like, a rich guy voice. It uh, kind of sounded like this, you know, um, <laughs> yes. I mean, when, are the, um, when, when are the white people going to rise up and take back the barrio? I mean, have you seen what they've done with the place? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's good to be doing this game. It oh, is. and uh, for those who don't know, I mean, this isn't an emulator. Uh, it's the actual. It's the real thing, bro. The Nintendo 64 console. We're doing it legit. Legit shit? Indeed. If I ever LP this, which I probably will in the future, it's gonna be on the 360 because on that version, 
Like, if you die in a level, you don't have to go back and collect all the notes again. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have problems with dying. This game's pretty easy. Yeah, well, I usually have trouble on that one particular Jiggy in Rusty Bucket Bay where you gotta slam into the fan blades, or the motor of the ship, or whatever you wanna call it. Yeah. I hate that part. But anyways, uh, this is our main bear, Banjo. He's a bear. Indeed. So how do I skip through the, uh... Just, um, press V, like, whenever he asks you if you want to do the tutorial or not, just, like, say you don't. Okay. Listen up, uh, I'm Bottle, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this is here, my buddy, Kazumi. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Bottle Boy. What was all that going noise about? Where's my sister? Tootie. Hold on, the ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down under out of the sky and grabbed her. Um, I don't think we should do the voice acting that much. But... I, I, the, what do you call it? The voice I was doing was like his voice that me and um, Biohazard 1000 came up with. It's like the voice for someone on Xbox Live that says they can find you. Like, you know those people that say, I'm gonna find you in real life, I'm gonna fight you, kid. <laughs> I got your IP. I'm tough. I, I can do this myself. I'm a um, hacker. But, um, do you remember that voice back in, um, like, part 28 of, of Ruby, where I gave the the radio announcer voice, like, the 30s radio announcer voice? Yeah, I remember that. You gave every, um, every, uh, one of those people a, uh, a voice. Ridiculous voice at that. Indeed. But anyways, um, this part is just training ground, pretty much. Yeah. We can choose to skip. We can just grab all the, uh, empty honeycomb pieces and be done with it. Yeah, we're gonna need those empty honeycomb pieces. Indeed, we is. Oh, there you go. Already. Ooh. So yeah, while he's, uh, collecting these and showing them off, I figure I'd give a little bit of a, uh, Backstory about this game and the entire series. Uh, there was one main sequel made for the uh, 64. Pretty much everyone knows that. Uh, there was another. Yeah, there was another made on the 360, like seven years later, and it wasn't a good banjo game, but it's an okay game and standalone because they completely changed the genre of it. And then sometime. And there was a couple of like little spin-offs. Yeah, for the GBA. Yeah. And, uh, a lot of people probably, uh, don't know or do know either way of, um, why there's, like, no sequels for this anymore, and it's probably, uh, well, it's a kind of a sad story, really. It's the sheer fact that, um, what you call it, Rare was bought out by Microsoft. I can't remember what year it was in, but, uh, yeah. That's the way things can go in the game business sometimes, folks. Unfortunately, but, you know, we have two good yeah, Banjo yeah. games to, uh, to represent the series. Yep. Indeed, we does. And, uh, my Wii exploded, by the way. It did. <laughs> if you're wondering why any new videos haven't shown up in a while, yes, his Wii exploded. But the thing is, um, like, I tried to get a fix, and they couldn't do shit about it, apparently. It was already in stage four. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't joke about that. I'm not even sure what that even means. So. Uh, it's uh, stage four is like the final stage of cancer, where it's like pretty much beyond help. That's kind of a grim joke, if I would say so. But... Well, I I got that from like uh, Craig. He he's had this laptop for the longest time. And it's like his only computer because every time he gets a desktop, he like leaves his if he leaves his house, his grandpa like sells it. <laughs> so he just has this like he he sells it. He sells a lap. He sells it any desktop he ever gets, pretty much. So, um, he has this really crappy like refurbished 2003 laptop, and like it's okay. But uh, every time his little brother Cameron gets on it, he goes on to like all these flash game sites that have uh, viruses on them. 
And he, every time he does this, uh, Craig, like, works his ass off to get the, uh, viruses off of there. <laughs> now, uh, here's one problem we have, if we remember, last time we tried to get the, uh, honey gun pieces. There's one where you had to, uh, beat those things. I don't know what they were, but... What, the vegetables? Yeah, and one of them would give you a honeycomb piece. Yeah, you just go up there and kill the, the cauliflower in the, um, that area and it'll give it to you. Why is it so, um, banjo running so slow? I don't know, it looks fine on my end. I don't know if it's my controller or... Yeah, like, um, that one silver guy said in his, uh, LP of this, he was like... Saying that his controller survived Mario Party 1, which is infamous for its uh, control stick rotating mini games. Yeah, we have they to. They actually sold a special glove just for when that game came out. You have out. to give a, a shout out to Silver Proctorian. Yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. He's kind of underrated right now. Um, I don't know him personally, but. I just discovered him. Where's the last one? Did you get the one underwater yet? Yeah. Did you get the one on top of the tree yet? Yeah. The one from for busting up all the rocks? No. Oh, okay, you gotta bust up all the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. Princess. I hate navigating around this area. Yeah, you have the navigation skills of navigator. And considering you don't have um that one move, that the move. talent trot. Yeah. You don't have that yet. No. Hello. Hello. I can hear it, but you can't hear it, Nate. What? The sound. Yeah, I can't hear the sound. <laughs> That's okay. Um, because this. It has memorable music to the extent. It does. Uh, yeah, Mr. Um, Grant Kirkhope was quite the composer. Yeah, yes, So, um, I guess I'm going to leave you on a note here. And... Whoa, it's loud. Yeah, I know. Um, that was quite loud. I know. In the next episode, we're going to go on here. I don't know what it is, but it's there. See you later.